Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. And this is the Eagle King, the big picture, angelic help. So the big picture. I think that, uh, you know, ultimately you want to think about what's going on in your life, the broad strokes, the end game, the, the big goal that you have. Is it simply to live a fulfilling life that's happy? Uh, is it to be of service to others? But to think about the big picture kind of sets the tone and kind of sets the framework for, for your actions and for your thoughts and for to to bring and to manifest your desires. So when we are looking at the big picture, we're not getting, um, uh, we're not getting stuck in the minute details. We're not micromanaging. When we look at the big picture, we allow ourselves the mistakes and the goofs and the times when, whoops, I had a bad day on my program of trying to eat better. You know, whoops, I, you know, I had too much ice cream. When we're looking at the big picture, we approach that from the perspective of, you know what, one time, one day isn't going to impact the bottom line or my goal. I'm human, I make mistakes, I learn from my mistakes, and tomorrow's a new day, I'll do my best tomorrow. So looking at the big picture really gives you, should give you a sense of comfort because that comfort is, you know, this is a daily journey. And every day it, you know, I'm doing something to improve my life, I'm doing something to enhance my life. And uh, whatever happens at this micro level, it's a small instance within a bigger picture. It's a small instance that, you know, should not add up to, to failure or, you know, disheartenment. When you're looking at the big picture, you accept all the bumps and the bruises along the journey with the mindset that I'm going to reach my goal, I'm going to accomplish what I hope to do, and I'm not gonna let the little things knock me off path or knock me off my pace. So, like this Eagle King, angelic help, big picture, it's really calling into and thinking about um, you know, what, what you're hoping to achieve, what you're hoping to have, what you're hoping to fulfill your heart with, and, uh, you know, what is your ultimate end of, of your life plan. Now, the interesting piece, angelic help, whether that's Praying to lo loved ones who have been who have passed away, whether it's using angel oracle cards to help you um, be inspired or to act a certain way or to be motivated, you know, all of these things are wonderful tools to help think about the greater picture, the bigger picture, the uh, view from the top of the um, tower looking down at what, what I hope to accomplish. So with the big picture in mind, let's take a look at the body. And these are Doreen Virtue's healing cards. What insight can we get from the universe for, for our bodies? Fresh air, dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for always helping me breathe easier. Fresh air is something that we take for granted. You know, not every place in the world has fresh air. And um, I think it does your mind and your body 
a hell of a lot of good to go outside, to have natural sunlight hit you when, you, when you're not wearing your sunscreen for 15 minutes, um, to breathe in the air and hopefully uh, you have a chance to maybe go to a, a lake or a park and to get some fresh, clean air. You know, if you're in the city, it's, it can be a challenge. You know, I live in a busy city and uh, between all of the trucks and the cars and the buses, uh, it's a lot of pollution. And so what do I do? I'll go to a national park. I'm fortunate to have a few nearby. I might go and take a day trip to the beach to get some fresh salt air in, uh, fresh water breezes. But you let that fresh air, you know, come through your body and, uh, you know, I think having the fresh air is also would be a great time to meditate and a great time just to sit and to relax and maybe sit in a comfortable yoga pose and just kind of uh, watch what's going around you, taking deep breaths. Um, breathing is so essential. It's so calming. And to sit and to breathe, it's a great way to, um, you know, it's a great way to center your body. So not only having fresh air, uh, just thinking about it because um, in some parts of the country, it's incredibly hot, like crazy hot, like 110, 112 degrees. And who wants to go outside in that hot weather? It's really challenging. And so you're kind of stuck inside with this, with the artificial, air, you know, air control, air conditioning. So maybe you have to wait till later in the evening if you're in this dramatically hot environment. Find the right time to go outside. Find the right time to get some fresh air. It, it makes you feel alive. I think it brings happiness. It's, you know, connecting with nature. Uh, and we see some nature, the dogs and the cats in this illustration. So interesting. Yeah. Breathe the fresh air while you're having to walk your dog or go out and take care of the horses, or go out and take care of the, uh, the goats. Um, but simple, you know, it's, this is simple advice. I like this, this is simple, something simple to think about for next week. Have an extra day, go get some fresh air. So when we look at our spiritual self, you know, that's our emotional well-being. that's uh, how we, do our affirmations, how we pray, uh, everything connected to our chakras and how we feel, I think just in general, um, uh, spiritual self, I always connect it really to my emotional well-being. And, you know, how am I doing with that? You know, what do I need to work on? What do I need to let go? So let's get a sense from the universe of what we can focus on what energies we can gather for our spiritual self, our emotional well-being. Okay. This is memories. So I'll just quickly look at it. Memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in, in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. So spiritual self and memories. And this makes me think of the Six of Cups in a traditional tarot deck. And as you get older in life and as you begin to contemplate um, how your life has been going, what you've been doing, you know, you, you think about your memories. You think about the memories that you've built and that you've created and that bring joy to you. You know, that's what stands out. It's a very safe place. It's a very um, special place 
to be able to take a trip down that memory lane, to remember that time that you went with your family on a certain vacation and, and you know, your kid broke their arm and you had to deal with that. Or perhaps it's a memory where, uh, you know, you, you, got, you were driving somewhere and you got lost and you were just hopelessly lost. This is before GPS, uh, you know, and, but it was an experience getting that. So hopefully, you know, could maybe it's a frustrating memory, but to take your memories and to hold them near to you and to keep them close to you is a powerful tool to connect emotionally. And I think that it would um, really help that if you're in a place where you're not feeling your best self, where you're feeling a little bit down, uh, where things, where, where life is coming at you pretty hard and maybe you feel overwhelmed. If you could sit quietly and just close your eyes and think back to a moment when a memory made you smile, maybe it was with someone, maybe it was with a grandparent when you were young, a parent, um, you know, a partner. So, you know, your memories are, it's like going back and looking at the pictures on your hard drive. Of, oh yeah, I remember that. We took that a few years ago. Gosh, that was a great trip. Man, that was, I really enjoyed when I used to work at that place. You know, whatever they may be, your mental memories are always with you. And it's a small strategy or small step that you could take to, to bring yourself, if you're feeling low, just to bump it up a notch and then do something else, but to to think about your memories, to honor your memories, to, I think it's also important not to forget. And, you know, uh, sometimes in life we get busy with the, you know, the chaos of life, with the having to make a living, having to pay bills, having to deal with so many things that we stop and we forget. And, you know, just from a personal perspective, perspective, you know, I try to think of fond memories and I, when I get with certain friends, we reflect and I'm older maybe than most. And so, you know, I have a big bank of memories that I hold very near and dear to me and that make me laugh and that can make me cry. But, you know, it's a, it's a uh, way to be connected and to, it fills up who you are, your, your memories, your, the experiences that you create are going to be ultimately much more valuable than any currency, than any money as you get older. You know, it's, it's like, wow, I really enjoyed, my life had purpose. I really remember this. This was a fantastic memory. Now for the memories that are not so fantastic, you just process them. You don't have to block them or hide them. You're just saying, yeah, that one was a memory I'd like to put in its place. I'll put that in a different corner. It was a learning experience. So, you know, I, I think about um, the people who are 80 years old and 85 and 90 years old that I know, and we talk about their life and the things that they've done, the, the memories that they have, you just always keep them. And you keep them near and dear to you. It's a beautiful, beautiful way to keep uh, emotionally in a good place. Okay, so let's take a look at theme, kind of the overarching overarching guidance perhaps, and then separately something to practice. This is the Chakra Oracle cards. I really like them. Let's see what the universe would like us to know for the bigger picture. That's really what we're maybe, maybe that's what I should call this instead of theme, I should call it the bigger picture. And this is a card of one word, acceptance. So acceptance. And 
it's a powerful, uh, par powerful process to be able to accept what you've been dealt in life or what you've created in life and accepting uh, yourself. That's where it begins. You have to accept yourself. You have to accept your image of yourself, your body, your spirit of how you interact and treat others. Uh, you have to accept that life is not perfect and we're humans and we're flawed and we make mistakes. Sometimes they're prodigious, they're, they're huge mistakes. Um, in a life we love, we have the capacity to hurt and um, accepting everything as part of the fabric of our experience is important because it just makes, it makes the um, hard landing sometimes that we have when we fall, it makes it a little more comfortable. When you can accept uh, and forgive, you know, I think that it just, uh, it relieves the pressure and the negativity that we may store inside. That when we hold grudges and can't get past those grudges, or if we're holding on to anger, uh, you know, it's very hard to have good health when you are keeping all of that angst inside of you. So with acceptance, it's accepting, uh, you know, accepting really the life that you're creating and the randomness sometimes of life. Sometimes we say, it's, life's not fair. Why did this happen to me? Uh, and it's just something that you have to perhaps just say, well, the universe sent this my way for a reason. And, you know, I think everyone can speak from experience when it comes to that, the question of, of life is not fair. And for those that have been dealt a significant illness, and I'm one of those folks, you know, at that time I tried not to go down that route, but to say, you know, God, of all the people, why me? But ultimately it's like, yeah, this is what it is. I went through what I needed to go through. I'm on the other side of it. It's a new normal. It's a living of a new normal, but it's accepting that this is just my path in life. And this is what I'm going through. And this is my experience. And my experience is unique to me. And I'm not going to fight it. I'm uh, going to let things come to me. Now, the one thing that just crossed my mind is that you don't have to accept someone who is not treating you well or treating you with respect, or treating you with unkindness. You know, that's, you just have to find a way to cut that, or to minimize that type of influence in your life. But general acceptance that life goes on, the sun comes up the next day, we have a chance to start new. We have a chance to be beautiful and wonderful people to others and accepting that and going with the flow. It's an easier path. It creates less resistance for you fighting, you know, fighting against what, what the world is offering. Okay, so to practice, I probably should have been holding these up. The practice for next week, starting today through next Saturday, and these are some wonderful cards. These are Kyle Gray's. I think they're called Angel Prayers. A beautiful set of oracle cards. So let's get something that we can focus on, think about. We're going to think about accepting and uh, letting things go. Focus your mind. Thank you, angels, for helping me to focus on my priorities. Get that up closer. 
So focusing your mind. You have to decide what your priority is. And perhaps next week you're going to be focusing on your mind and your priorities. And that means maybe you're going to be watching some TED Talks on YouTube or you're going to be, um, you know, doing some more crossword puzzles or some uh, brain game things. Maybe your mind is just finding a new area and reading about it and getting more information, getting more knowledge that something that interests you, something that you're curious about. Focusing your mind. It also can relate to being, I'm going to focus on my spiritual self. I'm going to focus on meditating, on praying, on spending time with um, people that I love and that are good to me and that make me happy. Perhaps you're focusing your mind to direct your body, that maybe next week you're going to eat a little healthier. Maybe you can incorporate some green smoothies, uh, some more greens in your life. Uh, uh, just a healthier approach of exercising every day, of getting into the fresh air, making that a priority. How you set your mind for the week and how you sit down and do that mental checklist of this is what I want to work on is, uh, it's huge. And it's important because it really, you know, your, your mind is the core of everything that you want to happen. You have to visualize it and you have to think about it and believe it. So whatever you feel that you need to work on for next week, whether it's accepting, whether it's pulling into some wonderful memories. Maybe it's um, looking at the bigger picture and maybe it's getting more fresh air, exercising, taking walks, uh, uh, going to the beach, smelling some fresh ocean water. You decide how you're going to focus. It's your choice how you set everything in motion. So um, things that I will take away I'm going to try to get some more fresh air. It's been really hot where I live, and I'm one, uh, you know, I like to not be in the heat. So, uh, but I make myself go out and get some hot air, hot, humid air, because maybe it's sometimes good to sweat too. And I'm going to think about the bigger picture. I think that's really helpful, is to focus on what the big picture is going to be and to say, hey, spirit, help me, help me pull it all together. So I hope that you found this type of reading helpful. I enjoy doing this. This is helpful for me. And so therefore, I hope that it is helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you do uh, to help focus your mind. Let me know how you handle acceptance. I'd be very interested in your responses. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a great way to show support and uh, it's thrilling for me, honestly. I really enjoy connecting with everyone. And, um, you know, share, like, comment, all that kind of good stuff. So I hope you'll check in again. I have other type of weekly and uh, I have monthly and daily readings and some poetry too on the channel. So thank you so much for joining. I appreciate your time. Have a blessed and wonderful week. Take care. Bye-bye.